Vaccine. Do you ever like get ready to start your day and it starts off with de-hearing your body? It's a lot. It's frustrating. It's overwhelming. It's tiring. It makes you feel like, how much longer can I do this? Right. I have everything in front of me that I need to do it. It's just like the time. It's frustrating. How much more time is needed? Am I rushing? Whenever you do it, yeah, you feel better because you're hairless, but it's like in the back of your head, it's like, you don't have to spend a lot of time on it because it's going to come back in less than 40 hours. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's do this. Shadow. Oh, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay. If you are new to my channel, this channel is a platform for all my sisters struggling with PCOS, which is very short for polycystic ovarian syndrome, and it is a hormonal imbalance. It affects every one out of five women across the entire world. There are many side effects of PCOS, but one that I struggle with every single day, 24 7, 365, is hirsutism, which is excessive facial hair and body hair and a male pattern all over a woman. So, I pretty much just show you guys how I live with it. Hopefully, I can give you guys some tips, some advice, some encouragement because the struggle is real. So, for my returning subscribers, I want to sincerely apologize that I just fell off the face of the earth i'll explain that in a little bit but i'm back and i do apologize but i love you guys so much i am here in one piece god is good god is good he woke me up this morning to see another day god is good like he wants shay to be here i'm here because of him hallelujah let's go Everything that I'm gonna use, I will um, put in the description box down below. Um, also, I am still drinking the spearmint tea. Yes, 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 I am still drinking it. Uh, it kinda depends if I'm, I haven't been consistent drinking it twice a day, but I have been drinking it every day. Being consistent, good job, Shayla, good job. That I'm seeing results and I'm like, boom, boom, pal, snatch, snatch. Look at me now. So in the beginning of this video, you guys kind of see me looking like, I pretty much look like I lost my best friend or something. That's just kind of how I've been feeling. Cause I was so hyped for PCOS Awareness Month in September. I had, you know, videos I wanted to do for you guys, updates, but I just couldn't get it together. But when it came to anything else besides work, like I just did not have the energy. I didn't feel myself. I was just going through a mental situation, we'll just call it. Like um, this time last year, I went through some things that I thought it was easy to kind of cover up if I didn't think about it so much. And the more I think about it, the more it kind of affects me. Like, you know, wow. But when I went to church this past Sunday and the pastor kind of was talking about um, God puts us through storms to see if we will still serve him. And I'll be honest with you, like I try to be in all my videos, I'm not always happy. I'm not always positive. I don't always say thank you, Jesus, when things are hard and tough. Because, I mean, you know, in a, in, a, in a sense, it's it's stressful to be like, okay, I just got my car towed. Thank you, Jesus. Like, it's rare to hear somebody saying that. 
So it's been like the struggle's been real. God has been putting me through tests that I haven't passed. I have not been committed to staying encouraged in the word, to being a positive person, to even have God's light shining through me for other people to see. I haven't been doing it because sometimes when I just get so overwhelmed, it's hard. Like it is very hard to try to be positive, to try to think that, you know, how far God's brought me and I just need to, you know, shut up and be thankful for it. And if you know me, it's hard for me to be quiet at times because I always think that I should be saying something else like I'm a lawyer when you just need to be quiet. Ask my parents. <laughs> Almost 30 years later, I'm sure they're still like, she just, she still don't get it. Sorry, mom and dad. And you know, it was hard to look at myself in the mirror. I didn't feel like doing the process because it's like, here I go again. <sighs> How many more times am I gonna be doing this? You know, like I gotta make sure my little tweezers are sterilized. I gotta make sure I got all my moisturizers and creams and masks and ingrown serums, all these things. And I'm only 30 years old. And I thought, you know, maybe the older I got, the easier it would get, but no way, Jose. I guess too, I would say like the older I get, I really thought maybe the easier it would get because I'm trying to be so positive and encouraging and inspiring my other sisters and not saying every day is going to be a piece of cake or, you know, be easy. But I did kind of think that the more positive and encouraged I am, you know, it's going to be a cakewalk and nothing's a cakewalk. I don't believe that there's anybody out there who's successful in life, period, not even finances, every day is easy for them. Like my mom always says, practice makes perfect. So... I'm sure there's a lot of things that people had to do to be consistent to see results. Like I say for my spearmint tea, I didn't just start drinking that the uh, beginning of October. No way. Like it's almost been a year in February will be a year, but just still anything that you're consistent with, of course, you're going to see change because you've been consistent with it every single day. I use that Mario facial rose water spray. Um, to me, it kind of just hydrates my face. As you can tell, I was talking for a minute. My face was very dry because I did just wash it. So instead of trying to run back and forth and put moisturizer on my face and I go do a thousand things in my house, when I come back to finish doing my face, at least it's like, you know, not bone dry. We are coming into winter and my face gets so dry. Eczema flares up out of nowhere. So I really, really, really want to keep it hydrated um, when I after, as soon as after I wash my face. So this kind of to me acts like a little procrastinator <laughs> until I finish uh, washing my face. This is a new secret that, I shouldn't call it a secret. Let, okay, rewind. This is something new <laughs> that I added to my facial routine. I only used to use aloe vera gel after I wax and pluck my face because of course, your pores are open. My face, you know, is turning red because I've been picking, stabbing, waxing it. This calms it down as well as hydrate it. And I ran out of one of my serums. Like, I think the ordinary um, uh, hyaluronic acid. I ran out of that. So I was like, huh, I got this big old bottle right here. I don't have time to go to the store order online. So let me try a little bit of this. So. I added this to my facial routine and I actually love it. Like, I just feel like it doesn't make my face super dry, but it also hydrates it. And let me see, I need my glasses. Like the older I get, like the vision is real when you really can't see. And of course it's in white. Anyway, I got this big bottle from the hair store for like $3, really, really cheap. There's no reason why I like it so much. So I've been using this as a replacement until I get my serum. And I feel like too, it's like extra hydration. Like I, it is of course like a liquid, but it doesn't go on my face and like dry. Oh my God, hurry up. I need to put a cream on top. No way. And I love it, love it, love it. So I have been using this um, in my skincare routine. And also I love this cream using it almost every night, the Vino. Um, positively radiant intensive night cream um, 
let's see, smooth night cream over face and neck at bedtime to help reduce the look of dark spots, uneven tone and texture. Love this cream so much. It's like, I think $15, so I've been using it sparingly. I mean, who, do, who doesn't want to go to sleep flawless, you know? Roll in your pillow and be like, oh yes, soft, smells good. Oh, be so excited when I go to bed, like, yes. <laughs> I'm beautiful in my bed. <laughs> now, I really would just finish off with that, but because it's not completely, it's not completely nighttime, I am gonna use the um, hemp rose oil from The Ordinary just kind of as a concealant for extra, extra moisture. Otherwise, for my facial night routine, I would have just finished with that night cream and been good, but like the rose hemp oil gives me that without the oily, greasy look. Bingo! So as I was trying to kind of get my thoughts together on um, what I was gonna record for you guys as far as, you know, coming back, what I should talk about. And, but God was like, no ma'am, you have a story to share with the world. You better open up that mouth that I gave you and preach. And I said, okay, God, send me. Let me stop. <laughs> Cause I am <laughs> being funny, but I'm so dead serious. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you do know that my precious baby girl, Gloria Joy, passed away on Mother's Day this year. And I've been taking it pretty hard. Like I've been trying to, you know, not get mad at Snapchat or Facebook reminding me of memories of her and it, it, it hit me harder than I thought it would. Um, it was very, very unexpected, but I didn't realize how the grieving process would be so long from it. You know, like I assume by this time, like she died in May, it's October. So I assume, you know, I'd be okay, but it still just hit me pretty hard. And like I said, what I went through this time last year, my dog, in a way, was, you know, there to comfort me. Like, to be so young and diagnosed with a syndrome that as a woman, they said you may not be able to carry a baby to term or you'll be struggling when it comes to having kids. I think in my mind, without actually thinking about it, when, you know, I had my dog, I put so much love and energy and time into her because in a way it's like I was telling myself this is it like this is good it's gonna get with God blessing you with somebody to be responsible for take care of and then I'm not trying to be funny but my my dog lived a long time 15 years is a very long I ain't never heard nobody saying my dog's 15 and then I believe all things work together for those that love God and are called according to his purpose. I believe that my dog waited for my mom to come uh, for Mother's Day weekend before she passed because I believe my dog knew how much I loved her and how much of a wreck I would be. And I feel like sitting here, I'm about to get choked up again. I don't have time to do that. I just moisturize my face and when I cry, it gets swollen and puffy and the tears make my face dry. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> clear your throat, get it out. Come. I ran out of oil too, so I have to go use my kitchen extra virgin olive oil. You know, she is like, hallelujah. Another side note, since I'm just all over the place, I know you guys are looking like, dang, did she clear out her whole house? Why is it so empty in there? And yes, I'm moving soon, but not that soon. And you know how you get like in a cleaning mood and you just start like putting stuff away? Well, I got in that mood before I knew it, the whole room was packed. <laughs> but um, I, I've just been kind of going through, I guess, the grieving process of my dog and other things. And I didn't <clears throat> realize that it would affect me as much as it did as far as, you know, being on 
social media, trying to be an advocate for my sisters and have a, um, a personal life with friends and family. Like it just honestly took me off my feet in a way more than I realized. And I, but sometimes you kind of have to do those things. You, you just have to disappear and do what's best for you. I'm a strong advocate for people doing what works for them because what works for you may not work for everybody. Everybody goes through things differently, but it was just like, all I kept thinking about was, dang, Gloria's gone. She was 15, I had her half my life. So to start over is like, is it worth it? You know, like putting so much more love into another dog and another dog dies. Like, I think too, because it was so sudden. I don't want to keep repeating it, but that's all I keep telling myself. Like it was so sudden. Yes, she was old, but she was like the old dog that just walked slow. She um, went outside, peed and poop, and then she's walking back toward the house. <laughs> like she ain't about to be doing no walk. She ain't playing fetch. <laughs> she wants just to do the basics. And um, she still, you know, ate twice a day, like trying to get thick like her mom. Um, had, you know, ate her treats and stuff and company come over. She want to play with them. But just for her to just croak over in a way, I was just like, I wasn't ready. Like, that's not how I saw this story ending. And I think that's the main reason I took it so hard because it was so unexpected and I wanted more time. Like, you know, even to say goodbye, um, thinking about starting over, thinking about my age, um, as you know, it's, it's challenging to rely it's challenging to grow up knowing that I believe in a God that will provide for all my needs and that he has protected me every single day of my life and he's still protecting me. In many situations, I probably shouldn't have made it out, but he has a plan for my life. So I am here, I made it. Stuff that I go through every day with hirsutism and just becoming lazy and when I'm stressed and depressed, it comes out through my body. Like pimples on my face, dark marks, eczema. Um, when my facial hair would grow back in, it was very irritated, but because I wasn't taking care of it, I just felt like I was going down such a spiral so quickly that I didn't know how to say stop or help or Shayla pull over. Like it was literally such a quick, process of me just being depressed and sad and angry and emotional and I'm good at faking it as far as when it comes to something's wrong with me but I'm able to you know take a picture smile like I'm very good at showing emotion to please other people but deep down inside I don't even want to raise my cheek muscles to smile because I just don't feel like it so that was honestly what I was going through. And um, just looking at my face every single day and my body, like this is just the beginning. Like I might have to go through this for the rest of my life. And mentally, it that's, that's a lot. That's a lot to swallow. That's a lot to look at. It's a lot to explain to somebody. So I believe God does want me to be married someday. So that's a lot to explain to my husband. Like, look, long story short, this is what it is. Till death do I part. You want it or not. <laughs> I know this video was not about hirsutism or PCOS too much, um, but mental health is a part of PCOS. Um, and just when you're going through stuff, you know, it does affect you. It affects your whole body, mentally, physically you know, emotionally, it's just not the same. Like, you know, faking it, you only can fake stuff for so much until reality hits and you're just like, I just need to back off. I just need some time because I'm trying, but it's overwhelming and it's too much. So as I was kind of going through, I really don't like using the word depressed, 
But as I was going through my grieving process, I like that better, of my dog and other stuff that's going on in my life as far as, like I've said in my, in my videos many times, you know, don't compare yourself to um, a girl next door that has a baby face and she's on Instagram talking about woke up like this and you woke up looking like <laughs> the wolf next door compared to her. Like, dang, look at her like she woke up flawless. Can't be envious of nobody. Like God made me the way he wanted me to be. But it's, sometimes it's hard to keep telling yourself that when you keep scrolling and all you see is no makeup, filter, hashtag, woke up like this. Like, I wanna walk around with a paper bag on my face. Thankfully, the mask mandate is still in place, so woohoo. That's how I could encourage my sisters and anybody out there that's going through something that it makes you kinda just step away from the world we live in of being on social media, going out with your friends, just kind of take time for yourself. Even though I wasn't on social media, or talking or texting my group of friends, I still was, you know, trying to encourage myself. I need to focus on myself. I need to kind of get back to, okay, yeah, it's sad, Gloria died, um, but you gotta keep moving on with life. You know, God didn't take you out. He just, unfortunately, took Gloria. <laughs> but you know, you kind of have to just take stuff, take stuff one day at a time. You cannot listen to people that really got on my nerves. Oh, you'll get another dog or, you know, it's okay. Like, no, it's not okay. When you basically live for or live with somebody else, you know, taking care of them, budgeting my finances to make sure she can have whatever she wants and needs and all this other stuff. And when that's taken from you, it takes a while to adjust. A different process for everybody. And I just want to encourage people who are going through something similar like I was when you do, it's okay to just step back. It's okay to just kind of take a deep breath and evaluate life and make a plan of how you're gonna move forward. Like I feel like I probably should have made this video before um, or right after Gloria died to kind of help me. Something that I could have went back and watched and kept encouraging myself, but it's almost like without doing it, I put a time on how long I should have been grieving her when she was so much a part of my everyday routine that now, okay, do a routine and it's just like, it's just me. And it's, it's awkward because it's just like, well, I guess I can stay out with you guys. I don't have to rush home, you know? Like <laughs> it makes it, it made it very awkward and kind of challenging because it's like, I almost don't know how to move and function and kind of go about my day because I was doing it for somebody else. So once again, I know this video wasn't too much about PCOS or hirsutism, but I do hope that this video was encouraging to you guys. I do hope that you guys can kind of watch my video and see that I am just like you going through everyday struggles and just a whole bunch of other things, but that's okay because we're human. It doesn't matter what you're going through if you believe in God that when he puts things in your life to show you himself, it's like a wake up call and also putting you through things to kind of see if you'll still acknowledge him in the end. It was a very long time before I could say, you know, this was God's will for this to happen because it's not warm and fuzzy at that time. And it's not supposed to be when you're going through trials and, and trials and tribulations. Like it is, it's going to make you fall to your knees, cry, close the door, block a whole bunch of people, not talk to nobody because you just kind of have to figure out what God is trying to tell you. That is what Shay believes and that's what I kind of had to fall back on. What did my dad always say? No, it's not my dad, it's the Bible. Bad company, <laughs> PK. Bad company corrupts good morals. So if I'm constantly around people who are negative and depressed all the time and they just they just acting like they just can't get, get up they just feel like they're just drowning and i'm constantly around that how am i supposed to be positive around that how am i supposed to be coming up and being encouraging when that's always around me like i've kind of did a job transition i'm still in the aviation industry 
And I was telling like my mom and my friends, like the people I'm around are so negative. Like I don't drink coffee unless I'm cold, but I'm like, you know, some people like, dang, like, did you, you need a coffee break? Like you, you need to, what's, what's the problem? Venting. I'm such a customer oriented person that when I put on somebody else's uniform or step into a place that somebody is paying my bills and I have to go and work this amount of time to get paid, my attitude is out the door. I'm here to serve other people. So when I'm working with other people and the vibe is just negative and they have the nerves to complain or have an attitude, go smoke a cigarette, go drink your coffee, go kick the wall, whatever you gotta do, but you, you gotta stop. All right, the sun is like running from me. It's gone actually. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do want to say thank you for all my returning subscribers. I love your support. I do these videos for you guys as well as myself. Cause like I, excuse me, like I said, I'm human. So I go through things just like you guys. I'm here for you guys. And we have to encourage one another because if we don't encourage one another, how can we succeed together? I love you, love you, love you guys so much. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Her Audacia Sister. Thank you guys again for your support, and I will see you very soon in another video.